John Browning, is your day going well for you? My day is going fantastic. It's really been a, a great week, actually. So that's good. Well, stay that. on that course and don't drift because that's the way we want to have our uh, our weeks that build into our lives is straight on course and, and fun and vibrant. And kind of kind of leads me into what we're talking about today is staying online because a lot of times we don't and we when we get off of target, we drift. Yeah. Right. And if you drift too much, you might end up at the wrong destination. That's why it's important for people to work with you at Guardian Rock Wealth and um, set out a plan for their portfolio, their life, and stay on target so they don't drift. And what we want to talk today is, is what, what you've termed or the term is style drift. And we're not talking about clothing. <laughs> But we're talking about like I, I think an investment style or a, a portfolio. I'm gonna let I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna let you talk about what is style drift and, and why does it matter? Yeah. So when uh when I when I worked for Big Wall Street and we we're managing very large portfolios, this was talked about a lot because there were times when the retail investors, so the average everyday person that's really gonna be in a teacher, lawyer, plumber, whatever it is that they do they would just sort of fire and forget, right? They they would like, I like XYZ mutual fund and I'm just going to put all my money in, in there or maybe in two or three of them. But over time, that mutual fund, and there, there's actually services out there that, that will track whether or not there's style drift. And what that means is that over time, that mutual fund portfolio manager no longer follows and no longer is doing the same things and that is that reason for you buying the the portfolio in the first place is no longer there because their style has drifted away. Okay. So so it has has more to do I guess with the direction of a of a fund perhaps or it could be a portfolio, right? It could be a portfolio as well. And you, you think of uh, if you, if you get into a plane, one of the reasons that autopilot is is so such a great innovation from way back is because it's really easy if you're a human and you're sitting there for hours on end to just be off by that much and you don't realize it and all you're yeah. looking at is sky. So if you don't have your instruments keeping you on track, did you know that if you're off by one degree and you walk? For a couple hundred yards, you'll be off by a few feet. Yeah. If you go several thousand miles and you're off by one degree, you'll be four or five hundred miles off your yeah. point. So if you begin to drift in your style because you don't have your instruments set up correctly, yeah, that's good. Then you could be in a completely different place. And that's a real problem. Say if you're flying to South Korea. Yeah. 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 Off by 400 miles, you might land in a different place that you don't want to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, I, I've heard it said if you leave New York in a plane and you're aiming for San Francisco, but you're off by one degree, you'll end up in L.A. So you, you just think about that, right? Now, in a portfolio, if you're if you're heading straight, but really you're style drifting, you may end up. Not at your best life. Not at your best life. That's right. And, yeah. and that can happen. Hence why. People need to reach out to John Browning at Guardian Rock Wealth to have these discussions because on this podcast, we don't give financial advice or counsel. We just talk about concepts and ideas. Individually, John can work with you and your family and, and figure out where you are today, where you're wanting to go. And it's not just about building a portfolio for someday. That's important, but it's also John helps you build a life today so that you can enjoy life, plan for college, cars, houses, whatever, and enjoy retirement because you've built a portfolio that has stayed on course and has not drifted is is that a good summary that's a good summary and you know to keep with that uh to keep with that uh illustration right sometimes the wind is is a little bit stronger at certain times during your flight and you need to make an adjustment so it's not that style drift is is a always the bad thing sometimes you need to drift you need to adapt but it's all about setting up that plan following that plan and when you have a, a good plan the plan includes a spot for detours because detours happen 
Would you agree? You've been around long enough to know that the best laid plans tend to run in at some point. They're going to run into that roadblock. Yep. So what are you going to do when that happens? Are you going to turn right? You're going to turn left? You're going to stand still like a deer in the headlights? You're going to go up? Yeah. You're going to go down? What What's your plan for when the plan begins to fail? Yeah. And what's your plan then for getting back on target? So let's let's keep this analogy going because in a flight, in a plane flying, they're always talking to different air traffic controllers on that journey, right? That's right. Yeah. You are kind of like that air traffic controller to to one of your clients because you you lay the plan out, but you're looking at the economy, you're looking at Russia and what's going on over there. You're you're kind of looking at the landscape to inform your clients. Okay, here's what's happening in the environment. We need to maybe make some change. You might need to go up to 40,000 feet instead of 35,000 to fly over there or something like that, right? Is that fair? That, that's absolutely right. Yeah, there's there's a big thunderstorm that you don't want to fly directly through. Here's a way around it. Here's your yeah. most efficient way around it. Right, yeah. And, and, that, and not that you never get back on course. You do get back on course. You do. And you, you, you arrive safely and happier and less stress. That's right. And and because you can't you can't always see the pilot can't always see the thunderstorm or whatever it is, but air traffic controllers can because they have other things going on, right? And that's like John at Guardian Rockwell. He can see things and understand things that a client can't usually because we're not in that business. We're not talking to people, we're not doing the things that you do. So you inform your clients, you walk with them, you guide them, you direct them so that their portfolio stays more on track. And that's really a fascinating analogy. I bet I bet you could use that in lots of places. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And probably for the investor, what I see most often is so one of two things, right? So one thing is they run into that roadblock. Something happens, they lose a job. And suddenly the income dries up. Or they have an accident. Right. And maybe they didn't have the disability insurance that they thought they had, or they didn't just didn't have any, right? Because nothing bad ever happens to you, right? That's right. So maybe it's a roadblock. But the other thing that has happened, especially in say the past five years, just say past five years, okay, is we get really excited about a particular area of the market. And we talked about this uh, in one of the other episodes that we did recently about AI, artificial intelligence. You get really excited about that, right? Yeah. And you look at all these like smaller companies that are, are involved in the space and you start putting too much of your portfolio and then it gets to be about portion control. Yes. And too. So too much because it's exciting. And it is exciting, right? Yeah. And and but then what happens is you don't have enough stabilizer. So you know how planes have stabilizers. Yep. You don't have enough stabilizer in your portfolio, and you run into a market downturn where some of those maybe smaller companies or companies on that cutting edge, or maybe you were just a little bit too early. Mm -hmm. It's exciting, but when does it actually become profitable for the company that is? doing it right you know everybody looks at some of these companies everybody looks at michael jordan and says oh my goodness he was an overnight success You're right so a whole lot of practice and a whole lot of years where he was not what we know michael jordan as today that's right so that's right. getting in too early can result in that style drift and you don't even really realize it because it's fun at the time while it's sort of running and running up until there's a problem that's right. And that's what that's what John does with uh, Guardian Rock Wealth with his team and his clients and just help you stay on target, stay with the plan, make adjustments when needed, but are counseling you, I guess, through the whole thing, like an air traffic controller to look at the environment, see what's going on, see what makes sense for you and your family, your plan individually through a lot of discussions. And I think that's one thing that sets them apart is it's not just they're not just focusing on the market and giving you data. They're talking about your your situation, the goals you set out, because that's where they always start as a conversation with you. So when you reach out to John at GuardianRockWealth.com, the first step is a conversation to talk about you and, and where you are, your situation, how John might be able to serve you and your family. So uh, reach out to him, GuardianRockWealth.com, or pick up your phone and, and text the word LIFE to 21,000. 
and uh, get some information on John and then shoot him a text with style drift and, and uh, see start a conversation there about how he can keep you on course for a great future. John Browning, always fun to be with you, sir. Always a good time. Thanks, Thanks. buddy. Thanks for sharing. We'll talk to you next time. All right. We'll see you next time.